What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today you're going to be watching some Conquest on Abandoned Flats. Now I do apologise that I've posted both videos from about Endgame so far on my channel have been on this map, but uh, I, the first one was literally just something that I wanted to get out on like launch day, and it was only six minutes long. So like now this is going to be the start of like the actual Endgame content, and um, I have to say, I like this map for Conquest, and I do not like it for Capture the... well... Okay, that's a different subject. I don't really like Captured Flag in general, but I'll get to that. Uh, th this video is basically going to be um, kind of an overview of my opinions of the, the expansion. Not in great detail, because again, I've only been playing it since Tuesday, and like not even hardcore playing it like every single day. Like Playing it like an hour or two maximum every day or two. Like, I haven't played it a whole lot, is basically what I'm getting at. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be what I've observed so far, what I like and what I don't like, and... Yeah, that's basically it. About the gameplay, it's... I literally, uh, like, halfway through this game, I was like, ah, sure, I'll just stop recording. The game hasn't... It's, this game hasn't gone well. But by the end of it, I was like, actually, wait, that was actually a pretty good, entertaining game, so... That's why I've, that's why I'm, I've, I'm using it, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it's actually a good, interesting game. It's a little slow in places, because sometimes I have to run from uh, flag to flag and stuff, and capturing flags and whatever, but it's good. And anyway, so I hope you enjoy it if you watch it. But uh, anyway, yeah, so Endgame is, I said before Endgame came out in like my last video before Endgame came out that I didn't see the big kind of like drawing attraction with the with this DLC. Um, Back to Karkan had the fact that it's Battlefield 2 maps uh, redesigned in the Frostbite engine, Frostbite 2 engine. Um, close Quarters was just that it's Close Quarters, it's not something Battlefield's ever had, it was completely different to the series. Um, Sorry, I'm saying M a lot again. <laughs> Ar Armored Kill was obviously the big, huge, open vehicle warfare, world's battlefield's biggest ever map, whatever. Um, and then Aftermath was like the whole earthquake thing, something that we've never really seen before with the cracked environments and the earthquake actual thing that happens like when you're in on, on Epicenter, when it actually shakes. Like, So they all had their own special uh, draws, draws to them. I don't know what the, word, the right word for that is, but... Uh, besides like the dropship and like the motorbikes, there was no real kind of selling point for this, if you know what I mean. So I wasn't hugely looking forward to it in any way. Um, and here you just get to see I did my first ever IF IFV airdrop, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so there wasn't really, for me personally, there wasn't I wasn't hugely looking forward to it. I was like, yeah, it's cool because it's something new and different and I'm sure I'm going to play it and enjoy it. But there was just nothing crazy about it but what i found now after playing it is oh sorry capture the flag was obviously another big a big draw that they were trying to market it market off but yeah so i suppose I'll, that, that leads me into what i don't what i think about it and i'll start with capture the flag um i don't like it and not i don't like the it's not that i don't like the game mode or I, they did a bad job with the game mode but they didn't as usual take into account that people are dickheads and they play the game like dickheads and they're just you can't enjoy the game because there's just dickheads playing it. Because in order to capture the flag, you have to get into the enemies essential, essentially into their spawn, which, which means that there's always going to be them. They're always going to be there. Um, I'm sure everyone, anyone that's played it so far, will have seen this. They've got C4 mines, claymores, um, camp people camping, just huddled around with their gun pointed down, camping pointed straight at the flag. All their vehicles pointed at the flag, every helicopter hovering around the flag, never leaving their base. All of this just campiness and horrible stuff that you don't like. Um, it's just, it gets put into that, and I, get, I find it so frustrating. If you can get a good game where the team are actually, the enemy team are actually trying to get to and from the flag, and they actually leave their base and they don't do any of that bullshit, yes, it ha like I can see the potential and it can be insanely fun. I've gone on some crazy tears on the back of bikes where we grab the flag, excuse me. We grab the flag and we try our hardest to get back and I haven't actually managed to, to capture a flag yet. I've what are, what are my stats on the achievement? I haven't captured a flag, but I've returned four out of the five flags. So again, it goes to show you how much I've gotten to play it. So not a whole lot, but this not a whole lot, sorry. But this is just what I've experienced. Um I haven't actually I haven't like this is probably too early, so again, this is just kind of an initial impressions, I guess, because I haven't just I just haven't got enough time with it yet. Um but Oh, like very first impressions are I'm not a huge fan of the way people play it. and watch this It just went through him. It just went through him. What the hell was that? The RPG just went straight through him But uh, anyway, yeah, so the 
the capture flag. I'm not. I'm. I like the idea and the game mode itself is an, is a good idea and it was implemented pretty well. But I just don't think they took into account how people would play and the way people always are in video games. So that's kind of letting me down. I'm hoping the more that I play it, the less I come across that kind of bullshittery and people just just play normally and just try to actually play the objective and don't just sit around and do all that stuff. But yeah, get into conquest. I like the conquest design. Um, on this map in particular, it's pretty cool because you've got your two bases where, near where you spawn, then there's C in the middle, and then they've got two two bases where they spawn. So, it's kind of got that cool like, I think of it like a like four, I think of a square with a dot in the middle. That's basically the way they're laid out, uh, as far as I can see, and it's pretty cool. And I think a lot of the other ones like some of the other ones are laid out in that way as well, kind of like a box of of like flags with one in the middle, but um. I do like it. I like um, getting from your flag because what happens is you see in this game we were at one stage were completely capped out, maybe except for one flag, and then by the end of it we managed to more or less turn that around. And I won't give it away whether we do, whether we don't, whether we win or whether we lose. <gasps> Take a breath. <laughs> but uh, we do actually manage to get, get like there is a chance to for both teams. Like they can easily get into we, one of our two flags and take them while we are taking their two flags and vice versa and then we all kind of meet in the middle at sea and there's not actually as much action as i thought there would be at sea and that was surprising to me because when i first when i like that first video that i posted the one that was six minutes long that was literally my very first experience with this game or with the with this map sorry <coughs> with actually with endgame in general it was my very first i downloaded it and that was the first game that i played but uh yeah so like my first ever game was on this map and running through sea just kind of trying to get through C, not knowing what it was or that it was a big deal or whatever. Not paying really attention. And I was just like, what is this guy doing? He wasn't firing at anything. He was just firing at the ground, which was bizarre to me. And then he disappears. Where did he go? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, going through C, I was like, oh my god, this if this is the TDM part of this map, that would be ridiculous. Because it would be like no share canals, only like times a million, because it's so much closer and indoors and squashed together. And it turns out I was actually right, that's that's what it is. But strangely enough, actually, just to go off topic a little bit, strangely enough, people don't actually seem to play it like no share canals, like you'd expect them to. A lot of, hard, in my opinion so far, from what I've experienced, most of the action actually goes down outside the actual sea thing, which is just bizarre to me. Or you have the usual dickheads camping on the roof. But, um, yeah, like so far, I'm liking this map on Conquest. Uh, Savalan Pipeline is quite good on Con Conquest. Uh, I've only played Kiasar Railroad on Capture the Flag, I believe. Oh no, I have played on Conquest actually. Yeah, it's actually quite a lot of fun on Conquest as well. That is the same kind of layout where they've got two flags, we've got two flags, and C is right in the middle with the with the uh, on the railroad bridge thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and what's the other one actually? Kiasar Railroad, the abandoned flats. Savalan Pipeline and God damn it, I can't remember the name of the other one now. Crap, completely blanked it. But I know that I like them all in general so far. Like the only things that's really pissed me off is being the way people are playing them. That's what, like that's if I was to sum it up, I like the maps, I like the game modes. Uh, Air superiority, I haven't got to play at all really because I just again I haven't had much time with it at all. So when I have had time, I've wanted to play the usual kind of like conquest and stuff like that. I really want to play some Rush. People are saying Rush is really fun, uh, but the one game of Rush that I did get to join into uh, yesterday, I believe, there was the usual typical bollocks of people camping and doing... I, can't, I, can't, I keep repeating myself, but you know what I mean, like the C4 and on, uh, the objectives and just crap, like, and I eventually... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> had a big pizza before doing this, so I'm pretty... pretty burpy, <laughs> whatever, but yeah, anyway... Um, yeah, so Rush, I only got to play a little bit and I ended up having to rage quit because just the way people were playing it. That would be the perfect way to sum it up, really. Uh, like, I, I'm, I'm liking the maps. It's enjoyable. It, it's I'm liking it more. I didn't think I'd like it. Like I said, I, there wasn't a big draw for me, but I ended up... I do think that I like it now, and uh, it's just the way that people are playing it that, that I'm not a fan of. If people would just play it normally and like play the objective, which isn't going to happen. Like, it just isn't. Uh, this was actually a good shot. I've never killed anyone with one of those. Just like point blank, just pshaw. but uh, he got me there fair and square. That's pretty good. But yeah, like just I really wish people would just I could or not even. Okay, so obviously everyone is going like if two out of three people are probably going to play the game normally, but there will always be the one guy that plays it like a dickhead with C4 and mines on the objectives and stuff. But 
if I can find a game where everyone plays well and plays objective and doesn't act like a dick, that's I can see that being really, really good. I can see that being a very good experience, particularly with Capture the Flag. If everyone's playing well and not putting down mines directly in front of where bikes spawn, that's going to be good. Like, there's no two ways about it. Um, it's just driving me mad. Driving me mad. <laughs> it's driving me mad that I can't remember the name of that other map. Sabalon Pipeline, Kizar Railroad, Abandoned Flats, and... God damn it! <laughs> I keep flanking, I can't think of it. Uh, it's not even relevant, I'm just trying to remember what it was like to play on. So that I can give you my opinion on it, but I can't for the life of me. I'm going to look it up really quick and then I will be right back. My bad guys, I'm back. Uh, Operation Riverside was the one that I was trying to remember. Operation Riverside, yeah. And it doesn't stick out purely because, again, I have not played it that much. So, this video, depending on where you're coming from, this video might be entirely point pointless. Because I clearly have not played like paid this game or this expansion any amount of time uh, or attention like that it should have gotten before doing a video like this. But it is like three days since I uploaded the video and I'm due a Battlefield 1 because the last one was for us, I believe. So... It is something, I do, at the very least you've gotten my opinion so far on it and you've got to see what I think is a decent enough game anyway. Um, I finished it off with a nice little kill in the helicopter here. But I will say, yeah, just to wrap up again, I like it so far. If I, I hope to get in a really good game where everyone plays as good as they can and then I think I'll really enjoy it. Um, I like it as it is, but I just wish play, people would play it better. I like the maps, I like the game modes. I'm hoping that I'll like air superiority, but I'm just not liking how people are playing it. But if I can just draw your attention to the game length, yeah, what up? Check it out. <laughs> Round duration, 1337. Yeah, so, yeah, that's kind of that, I suppose. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching the video, and goodbye.